We are now ready for our next definition called make guess. So we begin with the DEF keyword again. Notice how DEF is not tabbed in like this. So if I did tab it in, that would make my definition on line 33 part of this definition, and I don't want that. So make sure that it is out here, and now we give it a name. We call it make guess. And the purpose of this definition is so that the user can actually make their guess. And so it's going to take two parameters. It's going to take a question, and it's going to take an answer. And we're actually going to get those from our lists that we created in a previous video, from our questions and answers lists. Okay. Next thing, we're going to enter a loop. And we're going to say while true, so technically, this is an infinite loop that we're going to control breaking free from. So what do we do while we're in this loop? Well, <clears throat> we're going to set a variable called guess equal to the input of question. And what this is going to do is this is going to grab a question from our list of questions. It's using the input method, so that's what gives the user a chance at the keyboard to type in a guess that they have for that corresponding question. Then we're going to use the result variable, and we're going to set this equal to the definition that we created above, check guess. So we're going to say check guess. We're going to use that definition. We're going to pass in the user's guess, and we're going to pass in the answer that came in from this parameter here. Now result can only be one of two things. It can be true or it can be false. So okay, what if result is false? If, or excuse me, what if result is true? If result is true, okay, here's what we do. We're going to return true to the main program, else we're going to return false to the main program. And that's it. That's all that make guess does, is it allows the user to make their guess. Now what we're going to do <clears throat> is we're going to get ready now to get into the main script, how our program's going to work. We've just created two sections of code, two definitions, that encapsulate what checking a guess would look like and what making a guess would look like. So all of this code encapsulates that process. So now in the next video, we're going to begin with our main script, which will be the main part of our program. So let's go ahead and get to it.